uh, after he was making a statement here, and we have agreed, I can announce, we have agreed that from now on, we shall instruct our officials that there should be no question of how to enter Zimbabwe or how to enter Botswana. That should be cleared. I wish you a Merry Christmas. I wish you a Merry Christmas. I wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Welcome to Rumi Uncensored. And please, if it's your first time to come across this channel, I'm going to ask you to subscribe. Make sure that you ring the bell so that every time I'm live, you'll be notified immediately. But to my regulars, I want to say thank you so much for sticking around and your support, your contributions. It really means a lot. On this platform, we have conversations. It's not me alone. Let's communicate. Let's talk. Let's build the Zimbabwe that we want. I love you so much. I'll see you soon. Please take a look. All right, breaking news, y'all. Yeah. Breaking news. Very, very sad news indeed. Okay, so Gabron, which is the Botswana parliamentarians, have unequivocally expressed their oppos opposition to the proposed removal of passports for travel between their country and Zimbabwe. Responding to a statement made in the National Assembly by Labour and Home Affairs Minister Anna Mokwedi, uh, members of parliament from both ends thrashed the proposed arrangement, which would see citizens of both countries use national identity cards instead of passports at entry points. Botswana already has a similar arrangement with Namibia and is now looking to tie a similar deal with Zimbabwe. But while the Namibian arrangement, which came into effect in February, faced no opposition, legislators told Mokhtari thus they don't agree with the government move on Zimbabwe. <laughs> Earlier this month, while in Gabon, President Emerson Mnangagwa announced that he had reached an agreement with his Botswana counterparts, Motoreti Masisi, to abolish the use of passports at entry points. But due to the public backlash, Mokhtari was forced to read a statement in Parliament uh, arguing the uh, arrangement was not yet in place. It read in part, I wish to make this statement to clarify and to set the record straight that there is no signed agreement to effect uh, this initiative. Given this background, Botswana assured that by a concept being appreciated by the two leadership does not mean the people of the two countries can now use their ideas to cross into their countries. There are processes and procedures to be undertaken to ensure and qualify validity of all necessary requirements for travel locally, regionally, and uh, internationally before implantation can take place. Most importantly, upon adoption of acceptance of regulatory standards, the two countries will enter into a memorandum of agreement that is clauses, including cancellation or exit in the event Concerns of violation arise during implementation. The leader of opposition, Dapelo Kero Pete, said it was surprising that the deal was announced without due consultations. We don't know who President Masisi was representing when he reached this agreement with Mnangagwa or the government of Zimbabwe. Kero Pete said Francis Town MP Winter Mulolozi said. It would not be ideal to allow the arrangement to proceed as a country in particular areas um, closer to the border were already bearing the brunt of the influx of Zimbabweans. The health system in Francis Town is already overburdened by Zimbabweans, Mumoletsi said. Some, some come here to illegally mine gold. If we open up without even knowing it, we will have more Zimbabweans than the entire Francis Town population. Some MPs like Unite Dow wondered how the use of machine readable identity cards will not be as um, cumbersome as the use of passports. So the cost of obtaining a passport in Zimbabwe is prohibitive and some are forced to skip the border driven from their homeland by scarce job opportunities. Some MPs said they would rather have other countries like South Africa and in Zambia negotiate a passport free travel arrangement ahead of Zimbabwe. Okay. All right. So <laughs> I don't understand and I don't know why Zampia can't just get this right. You remember immediately after this Sham election that uh, George Charamber, um, 
Joy Charamba and Mangwana and also, um, you know, Chinamasa. He had a scuffle with uh, Hichilema and, uh, you know, Dr. Mumber. Everybody was watching. I mean, we know there is an issue between South Africa and Zimbabwe. Everyone is watching. I mean, how do you expect Zambia to just approve that, to approve that deal just like that? And one thing that I also didn't understand is how did they get to announce it? I mean, without any form of documentation being a process. In my opinion, again, I was surprised. <laughs> it just boils down to, to what's going down in Zimbabwe again. I'm sure at least now the world can see when we talk what we really mean. Because I don't think they understand um, what we are going through. Honestly, it says a lot about how we run our country. More than we can even talk about this deal. You know, um, there's no due processes. People cut corners every day. Corruption everywhere. You know, um, my, our state institutions have been reduced to literally nothing by corrupt politicians. And um, no Botswana... This is really embarrassing, in my opinion. I feel so embarrassed and humiliated. I know we have issues, but hey, I just pray that one day we we'll wake up and realize that we are so important, you know, that we deserve some respect, you know, that we deserve to have a really a country that is functioning where everything is formalized and there are consequences to those that can break the law. But as it stands, we know with the constitution is on, there's always issues that uh, people do not follow due processes. So, yeah, I don't blame Botswana, honestly, if they run their country in a proper way, because some people were actually said on social media that, no, Botswana it does not have a dictatorship. You know, I used to go Tongwa. Botswana, I never, I never Tongi. Botswana in my leaders. That's what people were saying on social media, which is quite very sad. But anywho, what can we say? There's no deal yet, guys. No deal. I don't think there will ever be a deal. You heard them saying, no, we're already exhausted. As far as our health systems are concerned, how can we open the borders? And that can even be worse. So, I mean, seeing this deal go through, I think it will be a miracle. But anyway, moving on. Let's look at what's going on with the Chinese. Take a listen. <laughs> The <laughs> Chawuya, the Machai, Kutuku Basilavana Vedu, Kutibachi, the Nishu, the Kushai, but that she doesn't shut what Basila. We reach Kaftavan Kutipone, who shall that now, Zinus Kutibasila. The Parish is Kuchameta Muzi. There is total relation to Mamanga Mangas, and the Shikapanishi. And I can't bring me Miss Kanash Tara with three programming here. Ah, and I can go far. She took Kosakada Itan, Fara um you know actually myself i grew up in zimbabwe I, oh. I went all the, I did my all over here. Oh, wonderful. So, as I saying, you know, this old Chinese saying, it, compared to giving people fish, you rather teach people how to fish fish. So, that's why I say maybe, you know, if we're actually more financially capable, we better do, do more schools, like, uh, you know, to, especially those, uh, like, uh, training schools for the special skills. Uh -huh. Like, teach all the orphans, the kids, like, they have, like, say, they know how to. Uh, cook Chinese food, or they know how to do a carpenter. They know, oh. like, a ish, maybe skill. we can get some. Skill. I think some skill. Yeah, that actually will be the way. Honestly, I have so much respect for everyone who can give. I may give. I love to give. I breathe giving. But one thing that I do not like is to have a country that is always relying on donations. I want a system and an economy that functions. 
Guys, within our borders, we should be able to reach out to those that may not have and be of a blessing. Uh, we can't have 90% suffering and have only the 10 eating and drinking. We should have at least 90% of people who are doing well and so that at least we can cater for the 10% uh, in those times of famine. Are we applicable? Um, it breaks my heart to see that we literally, like, we are, we are charity case. We are literally charity case. Everything is a donation. We come there, UK donated. We go on the other side, uh, EU donated. Like, I just can't. I just can't. And I'm not saying there's anything wrong at all, but I mean, Chinese people, in exchange of what? This seems to be taking a lot, but, um, but only God knows. I, I, I can't say much, but... Honestly, I want to see a country that functions, in my opinion. But anyway, guys, what more can we say? Inyikaye vene. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. Uh, please don't forget to subscribe if it's your first time. And for those who forgot to turn on the notification button, please do so. Because every time I'm live, you'll be notified immediately. I'll see you next time, guys. Bye for now.